Here's a scenario I'm sure you're familiar with and I'm equally sure that it's caused you a truckload of frustration and dejection. And don't worry, you're not the only one it's happened to. It happens to millions of others and it happened to me too, on far too many occasions to include here. Do you remember a time when you'd really had enough of your situation in life? Maybe you were sick and tired of servicing debt after debt. Perhaps you were bored with your job and had a burning desire to do something more exciting. Or maybe it was just something you wanted to do, a big adventure or learn a new skill or get together with someone you fancied like crazy. You made your plan. It was detailed too, and you were absolutely determined that nothing would stop you. You had a burning desire to get what you wanted, to change your life for the better and enjoy the feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment success would surely bring. To help you achieve your goals, you invested in self-help books, courses and CDs. Maybe you attended a couple of seminars. You said your affirmations, you wrote down your goals and you recited them every morning and every night, just like all of the gurus say. Surely nothing could stop you. Nothing. And yet, something did. Despite all of your good intentions and investments, the goals you so badly wanted to achieve just didn't happen. But how could this be? After all of your efforts, how come you didn't get what you wanted? You were unstoppable, you were determined, what stopped you? Honestly, this happened to me time after time and I'm sure it's happened to you, yes. Well, here's why you and me both have endured this frustration. When you consider making changes to your life, changes that will bring an enormous amount of happiness, fear will rise up like an angry storm and fill your mind with negatives, all beginning with, what if? What if things go wrong? What if you get rejected? What if you fail? What if you run out of money? What if you don't like it? What if, what if, what if? Your fear knows you are putting yourself into a new situation, a situation that will open you up to various risks and it does not like this one little bit. Fear will do everything in its power to stop you from leaving the security of your comfortable life. It knows that if it persists enough with these negative possibilities, you won't even take the first step towards your goals. Result. You continue in the same way, you don't achieve your goals and you don't change your life for the better. I'm going to share with you a very powerful way to get over this obstacle that your fear continually puts in front of you. And it's so simple, you will be amazed at how effective this technique can be. But don't let its simplicity deter you from putting it to use. Whenever you have these negative thoughts in your mind, use the power of indifference by using two words, so what? For example, when you have a thought that says something like, what if I start this new IT course and I'm no good at it? I'll look like a fool and I'll have wasted time and money. Just say. So what? I'll give it my best shot and maybe it won't be good enough but so what? Another, she's absolutely gorgeous but if I go over, I might screw up or she might tell me to get lost and I'll look stupid. So what? If she does, then so what? Her loss I'll get someone else. It's so powerful because you're indifferent to negative outcomes. You do your best to get what you want but if it doesn't work out, if others don't like it, if others laugh at you then so what? As soon as I used this technique I made rapid progress and I urge you to try it, it will help you conquer fear and take the first step towards your goals. Until next time.